Hey guys and welcome to another premiere. Okay, um, so it means I won't be live. I won't be able to in the video reply to what you're saying, but I will be live in the chat. Okay, so because I'm in the UK, um, if I go live right now, maybe it's nighttime in Australia and early morning in um, the USA and, you know, maybe time is it in India maybe four hours behind me <laughs> so yeah all the different time zones and I feel like I can't concentrate in live so um, I feel like the premieres are much better for us okay for me to get the message across and still talk to you guys so I'm gonna do it for late night UK time so hopefully um, those of us in the UK can still get to watch it at a reasonable time um, and communicate with you guys, okay? Um, it's going to be a soulmate reading, so hopefully if you're guided to click on it, um, then there's a message for you. If there isn't, I'm sorry, don't shoot the messenger. It's just not your reading this time, but I put out loads of readings every month, so, you know, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, and maybe next time, okay, if it's not for you, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, what I'm going to do this time is the soulmate reading the past, the present and the future so that you can tell if it's going to, the future is going to resonate with you. Because how can you say, hey, this is a future reading. How can it resonate with me? How would I know? Um, so I want to do the past so you can pick, it up, pick up, is this resonating with me? The present, a second chance, is this resonating with me? And then you'll know the future outcome of the relationship or the soulmate connection or what lesson it brought about or whatever it is for you guys, okay? Um, thank you for supporting the channel. You can do this by watching the advert. So, you know, just a little bit of your time there. Um, the super chat, you can use that. Um, small donations, anyhow you want to support the channel. Likes and shares also support the channel. So, I'm very grateful for all that you do, okay? It gives me more time to put out more readings for you guys. And I really do follow up on this. I try to put out as many as I can in a month. So I work hard on this channel, guys. So thank you for all the likes, shares and subscriptions. It really means a lot to me. So let's look at the past first here. This is the Botticelli deck first, okay? Um, and we'll be looking at what went on in the connection there so let's see ten of wands the bigger burden became too much here okay um things starting to go wrong um you were starting to get red flags um so either you was thinking hmm they're being a bit suspicious that's a red flag something as simple as that is your intuition telling you there's a red flag okay so, you know, you started to feel the burden. Maybe you was putting in all the effort and they was just starting to slack in the relationship here. Five of swords. Communication started to get bad. You guys started to argue about little things, petty things here, um, even about gossip. But, you know, you may have heard something, you know, this person's playing away. You may have heard your intuition tell you this person ain't treating you right and you know it started becoming too much for you with the five of swords though it's kind of like they may have left you even though you was getting the red flags six of swords yeah they moved away from you this is movement they've moved away from you like they left the arguments behind, you know, they just sort of like, huh, take all the burden. You take all this, I'm going to leave. I'm going to run away. And they probably in that moment felt like, with the Five of Swords, felt like they was winning. That was the best option for them to move away. This almost looks like something's buried here, like, you know, I'm, I'm walking away from this. So in the past, they would have you could have been even asking for more time, asking to talk about it. Let's work on it. Um, I'm noticing there's a problem in the relationship here. And like I said, it's like they tried to cut their losses, um, didn't want to argue back, just felt like 
If I leave this situation first, I win. Nobody wins. This is a lose-lose situation. But it's like you got left with all the burden. You got left with all this. All this to contend with. And they just scarpered. They left here. Six of swords. This is movement. They've left you here. moved away from you here maybe even location maybe even went as far as changing location from you here refusing to communicate refusing you know like i'm not even going to talk about this i'm not going to try and work it out I'm not going to even try here with the five of swords could have been some petty even um two of pentacles here so you may have gone fishing for these answers or looking for a way forward in the relationship. How do we work this out? No movement with the two of pentacles. They're having none of it. They're like, I made this firm decision not to move this connection forward anymore. Okay. I'm noticing three people here and I'm noticing three heads here. Somebody else could have been um, interfering with them because it could have been somebody else talking to them. Two of Pentacles, they decided to no longer stay in this relationship that it wasn't going to go forward, needed too much work for them and they wasn't willing to do it. They didn't want to talk about it. They just wanted to leave. They decided with the two of pentacles is a decision, a very strong decision. Three of cups. I think there was a third party here. Okay. <clears throat> so it seems like they felt the grass was greener elsewhere. I feel like they just left you like, look at this naked and exposed and a funny thing to get in the three of cups but embarrassed here maybe you're trying to hide your hurt your pain or how they left you try to hide the fact they cheated on you from people maybe this could be your friends asking so what happened where have they gone why aren't you two together and you just feel exposed like embarrassed i've never picked that up in a three of cups before but look at it speaks volumes like you just feel like they left me naked standing here for everybody to see all my wounds all my scars i think they made a decision to pick another party and you kind of felt embarrassed or exposed by that This is somebody who's just like left all the crap with you. Like left all the work with you and just ran for the hills. They decided it's time. Like look at this two of pentacles here. He's got horn like on judgment day. So it's like they just was out. Six of swords. They just left very quickly here. Leaving you with questions like, what happened? Who's she? Who's he with now? Who's he, who's she with now? They're with somebody else? How did that happen? Could be that this person was married all along. Strength. Strength. They didn't have the strength to stay in this. They didn't. Look. Three, five... This is weak energy. This is the strength here. They couldn't resist temptation here. I feel like that, you know, they was faced with the devil card and they couldn't resist temptation where they left it up to you to be strong instead. They, you know, gave up. They saw this as a lose-lose situation and chose somebody else, thought the grass was greener because... 
three and five, eight, they was not strong enough here to tame that inner beast. And they felt like, you know, you were stronger than they were. I feel like they gave into temptation here. Maybe they felt like the burden was too much and they was controlled here. You know, they may have felt like you have the upper hand, you have all the cards here because they was in the wrong. So facing you, they appear quite weak. They're like, I just, I can't do it. It's like the Five of Swords, they just ran away. They couldn't talk about it no matter what. They just ran away. They decided to leave and they left. Trying to leave all the burden behind them. Five of Wands. They regret it now. It doesn't make it any better. But, you know, when they left, they was full of regret. And they realised that they was a coward. You know, like the lion in Wizard of Oz, they was cowardly, they didn't have the heart to face you, to talk about it, to work on things, it might have been a lesson that they had to go through to have a perspective, a different perspective here, um, but they have regrets, this um, five of wands, in a conflict, regret. They feel like a coward. Look how small and this man looks here. I'm not saying it was a man. It could be male or female. But I'm just saying, look at the card here. It's like, they have regret. It's like, ah. I, I didn't have the strength. I gave in a temptation and rather than face, 5-5, five, five, it's difficult energy for them. It's difficult energy. Like... I should have taken my share of the blame, and I, they didn't. The emperor. They didn't. Their ego was in the way. They was too stubborn to talk about it. They was too um, up themselves. They thought they'd be better off. They thought they won. They thought they came out on top here. No. They were supposed to... Um, resist this temptation but they couldn't but it's here now to teach you a lesson it's a very karmic lesson here this 8-8 eight, eight, lion's gate you know we just went through that this doesn't it could have happened three years ago five years ago one year ago two years ago here and this person was like in their own way too stubborn, refusing to see the error of their ways, even refusing to express that they have regrets. They just have like this show to the outside world because, you know, they left you exposed like this. They don't want to be exposed like that. They don't have this strength that you have. You know, like their strength comes from a mask, a fake persona here. Something that they show the world, but inside, this regret. But this is like needing to get over ego and pride. So they was refusing to talk, refusing to change their mind. They'd made their choice here. They chose somebody else. They chose temptation. They felt like, you know, I can leave with these five swords and I've won. Not the case. We know the Five of Swords is lose-lose situation. It's Mercury. The Star, the Chariot, Judgment, and the Four of Chal uh, Chalices. Four of Cups, sorry. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The Star. There's three people in this Star card. You was all three of you destined to do this. So it's like a karmic situation in between soulmates here. But I believe you're all soulmates. You all like agreed to this situation. It was destined to happen here. 
now you know you're left believing you're left with rejection no offer you could have made them an offer and they rejected it you know you were just like please let's just even talk about this and they was like no that, that's rejection there and judgment i said in the other card the two of pentacles judgment it was time for this to happen it was destined for this to happen you know um each person look again three each person was like called to do what they were destined to do at this moment in time to change this life path of you of them of the third party so it's like you're all going to go through these death rebirth this awakening it was time it was time for destiny to step in here you know all of you heard the call with the judgment all of you got in the chariot and played your part there's definitely three people here and it seems like you was the one who was removed from the situation and rejected it was your turn to go through this death and rebirth I feel like even though when they left with this other person, with the star card here, you held on to hope that, okay, they would make an offer to me. You know, this is hope. Believe in that you understood, okay, you understood. This happened for a reason. This love was for a reason. You understood. I feel like you just don't understand, or at the time you didn't understand, the rejection with the Four of Cups. You're like, no, I'm kind of meant to be with this person or whatever. Um, I feel this connection, this soulmate connection. What's going on? Like, I was just waiting for the right time, giving them space, whatever. They'd come back and make me an offer, right? And maybe when you went to them, they rejected you. They was like, no, I'm off with the chariot. I'm off. I'm going to get in the chariot and follow this destined path with the star. So for these two to come out together, never mind the judgment. This is following destiny. So you stepped into like this time warp where you're waiting for divine time in here. You're waiting for a judgment from like God on this situation. You're waiting for divine to step in, divine guidance here. This being major arcana, this will have brought about a change in you where you don't even recognize yourself from a year ago. Like that person went, that person died who you was. They are never coming back. Major arcana are changes that last a long time. Okay. So it's like you was broke down so much by this. That you don't even recognize yourself today. So if it was from even <clears throat> three years ago, two years ago, ten years ago. You do not recognize yourself. This soulmate connection brought around life path changes like it set you on a whole new course with the chariot here whole new direction in life it, it changed you so much you don't recognize yourself people may not recognize you in the street you've changed so much from this happening to you and if this is just happening to you um be strong like everything happens for a reason here it's following destiny this was destined to happen to bring around this healing with the star card and this is like soul healing karmic situation healing okay so let's have a look at the present what's going on with you guys right now with the soulmate connection i'll do it with the royal deck So like there, it just left you with this like 
the past was just an ending where somebody refused to communicate, refused your offers to communicate. Um, they refused to show any regret or any love to you because, um, you know, while this was going on, it was like they thought about themselves. They tried to run for the hills and tried to have an abundant new beginning with somebody else. You know, they made their decision. That's what they were feeling there in the past. They had regret, but they wasn't about to show it. So they wasn't going to show regret. They didn't show you that they loved you. You may have felt like, what the hell just happened? <clears throat> Did this person even love me if they was going to do this? Hmm. So, page of cups. King of Cups, Queen of Swords reversed. And so right now, they're so childish that, you know, even if they came forward with um, an apology, that they may even re repeat the same mistake because they're not, they're not there yet. They're just not there yet. Okay. The King of Cups here. That You're in their head. They get into this point where. What the hell do I do? But they're still not giving you answers. Like the Queen of Swords. Like she's usually the divorcee queen. Um, but she's learned her lesson. She has that extra knowledge there. That extra wisdom. So I feel like you still don't have answers. Even if this happened 10 years ago. 3 years ago. They still I saw childish here coming up as a page that they couldn't even give you an apology that, you know, you're reversed. You might be start now being called towards the connection. <clears throat> you may be like, yeah, that was three years ago, but right now I don't care about them because now you're becoming cold and cut off to co the connection where they're now sort of waking up to, I can't get them out of my head. That third party here, I feel like um, they're asking, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Just thinking about something's wrong, tell me. So it's like the third party intuition here with the King of Cups is stepping in. There's something wrong with you, tell me. And they're feeling like that connection there, they're feeling your coldness in the connection that you're like, I've let go. I don't care about that ex, I've let go. You're in this Queen of Swords energy um, reversed here. Like, I'm not going to be kind to them. I don't care about them. They're being childish. And even if they came back, let's say, with this apology, you may find that you are maybe being mean to them. Like, because it wasn't healed properly or maybe it wasn't the right time to come together. There was still healing or growing to be done. So even if they came back to you and they're like, I'm sorry. And, you know, they were still sort of a lower vibration to you. So it wasn't right. So you may have found yourself being mean to them. Like, yeah, let them back. And now I'm going to get revenge on them. Or you could be at this moment feeling like I want them to come forward so that I can treat them the same. Look, they left me all exposed here. But look how I'm exposed now. I'm like, yeah. I turned this around, that revenge body, <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I, they might be treating you, you might be quite cold and, or maybe this is what they're worried about, maybe they're feeling about you, that if they apologised here, you wouldn't give them the time of day. They're just like... Maybe they're remembering this love. They're regretful of this love. They're like, what the hell did I do? I made a mistake. Okay. Like, but it's like a child apologizing. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. And you just believe the minute they step out the door and they're alone, they'll do it again. So maybe if they've come back to you, you're not accepting any apologies right now. Or if you're in this... <laughs> I don't care about my ex mode. They can feel that energy. That's why they're scared here. But I do believe there is a deep love between you both with the King of Cups. 
an apology is needed. They just don't know how to do it. I feel like they're actually scared of you at this moment. They're actually scared of you. They don't know what to do here. Uh, there is a deep, deep love here, King of Cups, but it's not being spoke. It's not being said by either of you. And like I said, this Queen of Swords energy, you just might be like, I'm not interested in the slightest. Let them come back begging and pleading. I'm not interested. That's why there's still stuff to learn here with the Queen of Swords reverse. There's still that high learning going on because you're not supposed to get to a point of revenge. Or be mean, you want to be, you know, in love and enlightened to the point where, okay, I forgive you, I forgive myself, um, I want to embrace love, I'm moving on, or we're working it out, whichever it is for you, but you don't want to be at a point where you're like vengeful and mean, um, but they're definitely picking up that energy, definitely picking up that energy. Knight of Cups. They want to make you an offer. Sorry, the sun is changing positions, but they want to make you this offer. I always feel like the Knight of Cups is very fickle, you know, and can be offering multiple people. I know we hate the Knight of Pentacles because it takes forever, but I also feel like the Knight of Cups can be like so romantic and so slushy and things that... You know, it's got to be balanced with heart and head. So I feel like right now they're in their emotions for some reason. Okay. They're in their emotions for some reason. And they want to come forward and make an offer. They're just, I don't feel like the Knight of Cups is strong enough. The, it's a still a knight, okay. I feel like. They're trying to show or project this mask to the world like I'm an emperor. But they're a page of cups. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they don't want to look weak by coming forward. They feel like I come forward in this loving energy, I look weak. And they feel like the, you have all the strength right now. Ace of Wands. So right now, I don't think you're interested in apologies. I don't think you're interested in I love yous. I just heard no more I love yous. Yeah, I just I just think like you're not interested. You may be like an apology, but you're too stern. Your energy is really strong that... I don't give up about you or anything that you do. So right now there's an opportunity to communicate with each other, um, but I don't know if you're interested in it. And that's what they're, they're picking up. They're in their head. They, they want to talk to you. They want to offer you. They even want to apologize to you. But I don't think you're interested right now. It's just like... They see you as strong. They see you as cold. They think you don't, don't have love for them anymore because you're showing up as Queen of Swords. So it's like they think you don't love them anymore. I think there is underlying love here with the King of uh, Cups. I feel like there is. I feel like you do love them. You might just be angry that they didn't give you answers. They didn't give you clarity. You know, like, and that's the minimum you could do for somebody. Like, give them answers. So I feel like that anger, it may be what you're projecting out to the universe. It may be stopping you from moving on and finding a romantic partner as well. So just be aware of that. <clears throat> Ace of Swords. So we have the Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands, okay? So I feel like... You're like, why the hell do I give them an opportunity to speak to me when I gave them an opportunity? They had the Ace of Wands because I put myself out there. I wanted clarity. So, I, you know, I, I went and I said, look, can we talk? I tried to text them. They blocked me. So what now I'm supposed to listen to that? No, I'm not interested in talking to them. I'm interested in dating somebody new here. But nobody new seems to be coming in. 
because it's, the situation's not closed down. We haven't had the world card yet. So the cycle is still open. You're still healing. Whether it's been 10 years or one, you're still healing. The full spiritual lesson, right beginning, they're just awakening. They don't want to look a fool, but what it takes is them looking a fool, them taking a chance. Because they need to get off this pride thing like, oh, well, I don't want to look stupid making you an offer because I'm going to get rejected. They have to take the chance in whether I get rejected or not. I have to apologize. I have to explain. I have to unburden them. I have to unburden myself. Because they left you carry all the burden on your own here. Now they need to embrace this fool energy. They're just waking up. They're at the beginning of their journey. They're at the beginning at learning. They're just realizing, oh my God, what the hell did I do? Three of swords. Now they're the one hurting. So at present, they want to talk. They seem pretty weak. Like, I can't face you, but they've got so much going on in their head here. And I think they have a third party who's asking them, what's going on with you? Why are you so upset? Why are you depressed? What's going on with you? They're in their head about you. They're in their head about you. It's starting to hurt. They're starting to focus on what they did to you, how they hurt you how things played out. They could even be thinking, oh, shit, things are going wrong in my life because I hurt somebody else like that. It's my karma. So they could even be thinking like that, like nothing's going to work out because I hurt somebody else. So I need to make it right. I need to apologize. I just want to talk to them. They're in their head a lot. I want to apologize. But if I go up to them, they don't love me anymore. They're going to be cold towards me. They're going to embarrass me because I embarrass them. That's why they're the fool. Because they have to grow and have to know that you've grown. And look, I'm not interested in petty tit for tat. I, you know, now they're the one healing. Now they're the one who's breaking down. the death now it's their time i feel like as well here this on their mind will break up the third party so but they're gonna feel like oh i deserved this but it's just this death and rebirth here um so you went through yours first okay out of the three of you you've gone through yours now your partner's going to go through theirs, okay? And the ending of this third party relationship, then the third soulmate goes through their death and rebirth, okay? So you went through yours first. So right now, it's the partner who's healing, who's like going through this heartbreak and confusion and like being broke down with the death card. They're at the beginning with the fool of their spiritual journey. They have the opportunity to reach out and contact you OK, because they're the one who ran away in the first place. They can like, I feel like they want to clear their conscience. Um, They're doing it for the wrong reasons here, but. It's trying to unburden themselves when they need to give you answers to unburden you both. So their apology shows up like the page of cups, like. Childish. I just feel like. They don't know how or they feel they don't know how to make it right. But they've made no effort here. They've made no effort. And if they've reached out and text and you've like been sharp with them, what they should have done is still kept trying. Because I feel like um, you felt they needed to fight harder for you in this situation. They just did. 
you know, especially when you felt so exposed. Now they're scared of being exposed. Well, why the hell did they do it to you? So now they're going through that death card. Now look, they're trying to find the strength. They're trying to tame the beast. This is what they need to do. This would be Spirit's advice to them. Okay, when you're at the beginning of this spiritual journey with the fool, um, you need to tame those inner demons that are telling you, don't embarrass yourself. That's your pride. Don't don't beg to anybody. That's your ego. Like, let them come to you. They thought you were going to come, but, you you know, you came, you were rejected, so you're not going to go back. You now turned into Queen of Swords reversed. Like, mm -mm. no, I'm cutting this off. I'm moving on. Maybe I'm going to start dating. Um, you may even have multiple offers here to date. Younger people, older people, people the same age as you want to talk to you, want to be with you. Um, but it just doesn't seem to be going in the right direction. We haven't had the world card in the present. Okay, the present reading is finished. I'll move on to the future reading. But here, the cycle's not over at present. OK, this person wants to reach out to you, <clears throat> whether you're together or not, is not in this um, part of the reading. It's like you're still not together because they need to find, go through this death, this hurt to find the strength. You've already gave the opportunities. Now it's their time to make these offers here. Even if you are cold, that you went up to them when they was being called to you and mean, cut you off, no answers. So they need to have no fear and get to this stage where I'll make a fool of myself to make like things right or whatever, you know, to say sorry. So let's look at a future. So if they're resonating with you, this will be the future outcome of um, this soulmate relationship. Sorry. Just being the Hierophant, definitely a relationship with a purpose here. Yeah, it stayed at the bottom. The key to your future, the um, your life path, major changes here. Prince of Wands, not energy you want to see, right? <laughs> You see, when they come in in the future with this Prince of Wands energy, they can leave very quickly again. Maybe you turn them away and that's why they leave quickly. But it shows that if they come in in this unhealed situation here, they'll leave very quickly again. It's like, hi, I'm sorry and like I'll never do it again. And if you ignore red flags, then they'll do it again. If you stop them on red flags and say, hey, you can't pull that crap with me. I learned my lesson. You're not pulling it with me. Then it'll change. OK, so don't be scared to be like telling people mm, it's not good enough for me, mate. <laughs> there you go. Look what you'll get. It's a pentacles. Then they're like, okay, you want me to be committed and let, be real? Okay, here's a wedding ring. You was the only one I ever loved anyway. Yeah, I was a fool. Okay, here's a wedding ring. You just can't let them get away with their shit. King of Wands, told you. People don't listen. You let somebody come in, use you, they'll be off again. Don't matter if they said sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Mm -mm. Actions speak louder than words. If you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. There you go. So what's coming in for you next is a very stable relationship. If you've learned your lesson and you don't let people come in with this energy, because this energy... 
is not good enough for you, okay? It's not okay that people use you, okay? You you want to get freaky with me, you know? You want the freak to come out, okay? Put a ring on it. So it makes them step up their game, take action, you know? Action speaking louder than words. It makes their them have to come up with action rather than just words. And it doesn't mean because somebody's your husband or wife that they won't cheat on you. No, you have to hold them accountable for their actions and let them know look i will leave i'll be the one that leaves you quicker mate so in the future we see them coming with um, an offer of commitment taking action two of pentacles so the choice will be yours do i go back into this uh, soulmate connection there is an opportunity for this as you can see this eight here um infinity sign there's an opportunity for you to work on this connection accept this offer both of you make a commitment to each other one pentacle each um okay there's an opportunity for that there's an opportunity for you to make a firm decision and exit as the two of pentacles is um mirrored by the knight of wands here you could be like excuse me I'm deciding that I'm running away from you this time. You can run towards me, but the choice is mine. And I'm deciding to leave. So the choice will be in your hands here. You can tell them, look, put up or shut up, you know, like really understand. It's like you brought them down a peg or two because if they come in in the night of one's energy, they're still acting childish. Even if they are 100 years old, they're acting childish, acting like um, easy. You know, like, oh, no, I'm not giving up my youth for anybody. Like that sort of energy. And it's, it's not good. It's not a good look. So you, it's like you either say to them, look, it's all or nothing. And if you stand your ground and tell them it's all or nothing, this will be a very serious relationship going into a very serious commitment here. You guys don't listen to me. You guys don't listen to me. Husband and wife like you're meant to be together but only if they step up and match your energy so you show up as husband and wife so learning the lesson here can bring in a very stable committed relationship the choice however is yours are you going to just let them back and run all over you because if you do this is what happens they'll decide they will decide to leave again if you take the decision out of your hand out of their hands that you're not going to walk all over me what happens is this they step up their game Okay, they step up their game because they understand they could lose you again now because you're not going to um, stand for it. You've healed from it. You know you deserve better. You know you are lovable. Chariot. And then we're back on track. We're back following destined paths together with each other in the chariot together. Oh, very much alone either way you're on track because you'll win or you'll learn okay so if you have to go through letting them make the choices for you again you're still on track you'll learn another lesson we can repeat this again until you get the message or you win and you have success and victory over this spiritual lesson here and you get in the chariot together 
and follow your destiny. I love it, guys. I love it. You win, you learn. It's how life is. That's how most lessons are here. Three decks of cards, no world card, no cycle being over. Good luck, guys. See you in the chat. Thanks for staying.